Last week, Timothy and Cubby were trapped in the woodshed. I wonder what happened to them. Let's find out. On the count of three, let's call for Cubby. Ready? One, two, three. Cubby! Cubby? Are you there? Here I am. Oh, Cubby, I was so worried about you. Last week we heard that you were trapped in the woodshed. We were. Timothy and I tried to open the big door, but it was locked from the outside. We yelled and yelled for help, but Timothy's dad was mowing the lawn and no one could hear us over the loud lawnmower. I was so scared, but Timothy was very brave. What happened next, Cubby? All of a sudden, the lawnmower stopped, and then we heard Katie calling. Arf, 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 arf. I was running after the lawnmower, barking as loudly as I could. Finally, Timothy's dad saw me and stopped the mower. I kept barking so that he would know that something was wrong, and he followed me to the shed. We heard them coming toward us. So Timothy and I yelled, help, help, really loud. Timothy's dad unlocked the door and let us out. And then we were free. Phew, Cubby, I'm so glad you and Timothy are safe now. Me too. And I'm so glad that I have special friends like Katie Crawley. She helped us when we were in trouble. Oh, you know me. I always like to help. I'm glad I'm your friend too, Cubby. And I'm glad that all of you are our friends. Isn't that right, Cubby? That's right, Katie. I'm feeling a little sad tonight because this is our last week of club. I'm going to miss seeing all the boys and girls every week at Cubby. We'll miss you too, Cubby. Some of us will be back after the summer. Others will move on to Sparks this fall, but I'm sure they will come back and visit. Oh, good. This is not really a goodbye. It's a see you later. See you later, Cubbies. Here's a big bear hug just from me. Bye. Bye. Okay, our last unit, <laughs> unit six, bear hug 26. Cubbies, I'm so glad that Katie Collie was able to help rescue Timothy and Cubby from the woodshed. Do you remember what sh she did to help? Hold on. Okay. Here we go, we have the times eight up on the screen. Okay, <laughs> all right, so take two, <laughs> unit six, bear hug 26. Cubbies, I am so glad that Katie Collie was able to help rescue Timothy and Cubby from the woodshed. Do you remember what she did to help? Today in our lesson, we are going to learn about a woman who was able to help boys and girls who were in trouble. God used her to tell many, many boys and girls the good news about Jesus. Her name was Amy Carmichael. Listen and I will tell you a true story about Amy. Here is a picture of when Amy was a little girl. Cubbies, God made Amy with pretty brown eyes, just like me. Amy did not like her brown eyes. She wanted blue eyes. There was nothing wrong with having brown eyes, but as a little girl, Amy prayed and asked God to change her brown eyes to blue eyes. Remember, Cubbies, God hears our prayers and God can do anything he chooses. But God never chose to make Amy's eyes blue. They stayed brown. And do you know what? God used Amy's brown eyes in a very special way. Amy wanted to be a missionary when she grew up. Cubbies, do you know what a missionary is? A missionary is someone who has a special job of telling others the good news about Jesus. Some missionaries go to a place far away to do their special job, or some stay near their home to do their special job. Missionaries tell people the good news that Jesus died for their sins and came alive again. One day, when Amy was a grown-up, she traveled far away to the country of India 
to tell the people the good news about Jesus. The people of India looked very different from Amy. They had dark skin and Amy had light skin. But do you know what? The people of India had brown eyes, just like Amy. Amy loved all the people of India, but she especially loved all the boys and girls. Some of the boys and girls in India did not have anyone to love them or take care of them. Amy made a special home where these boys and girls could live. She took care of them and told them all about Jesus. The boys and girls felt safe with Amy. They called her Ama. Amy saved many, many boys and girls from danger. Sometimes she would travel and take a long, long way to save them and take them to her home where she would be safe. Cubbies, remember what Amy asked God for when she was a little girl? God did not give Amy blue eyes but Amy was able to use her brown eyes to help the children of India and tell them the good news about Jesus. Amy's true story reminds me of our memory verse this week. In Mark chapter 16, verse 15, Jesus says, Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. Let's say that again. Mark 16, 15, Jesus says, Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. God had a special plan for Amy, and with her brown eyes, she was able to tell many people in India the gospel, which is the good news of Jesus Christ. Cubbies, God has made you special too. And God has a plan for you, just like he has a plan for Amy. Jesus wants you to share the good news with others. Who is one person who you can tell the good news about Jesus? Do you remember what the good news is? The good news is that Jesus died for our sins and came alive again. All those who trust in Jesus are saved from the punishment of sin, and one day they will go to heaven and be alive with him there forever. Cubbies, this is our last lesson together. I'm going to miss doing lessons with you. I've enjoyed our time together very much. Let's pray. Dear Father God, help us to share the good news of Jesus with others. Help us to always pray and to be good and to love others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.